Hey guys, Jason here, Sam Cole Workshop. Today we're talking about the four things any new vehicle you buy, in my opinion, you have to get them or it has to have them. Four things I will not buy a vehicle if I do not get these four items. And uh, we're out here in the woods hunting time. And uh, look here, it's pretty kind of cool. Not to go too far off tangent, but look at what damage hogs can do to areas. Look at this. This is all hog sign. This is all hog rooting where they just tear this up. Look at that, they do that with their face. They just wreck that and destroy it and dig all that up with their face looking for grubs and rooting and stuff like that. Crazy, isn't it? Anyway, so back to what I would get. First of all, the number one thing, mandatory, absolute mandatory, is a deal. The best deal possible. I will not ever let a vehicle purchase be an emotional purchase. There's no reason for it. And uh, keep your emotions out of it and then buy it based on the absolute best deal. Sorry, something in my eye best deal that you can get um at the time now like on the gladiator when i got it i got ten thousand seven hundred dollars off on this which was fantastic and then a month later the deals got even better and they were even better for you know for just up until recently when a 24s came out but get the best deal that you can even on that colorado uh zr2 that i had ordered you know 50 fifty thousand dollar or 49 8 70 something was the sticker price and i was looking at 47 grand for it and this was before they were even available anywhere so um always get the best deal that you can on any vehicle that way you have that security and you can do it negotiate it negotiate it negotiate it and stick with a vehicle that's going to be negotiable uh one of the biggest downsides to Toyota they don't very very rarely negotiate I hope with this new Tacoma coming out and their crazy high prices they got on them uh, that negotiation for Toyota is something that starts here pretty quick so it's a get the best deal you can number two number two is right here LED headlights okay I don't have them these aren't LEDs but I have LED bulbs in them those are LEDs that I have put in myself from Amazon and they cost like a whopping $30 and they make a huge difference and I had to do the same thing on my Tacoma. My Tacoma did not come with uh, LED headlights. I put LED headlights in them. My uh uh, my Ram 2500 did not have LED headlights. I put and on that one. I actually spent a lot of money and put headlight revolution headlights in them and they didn't make it one year before they died. The Amazon ones that you get for like 30 to 60 bucks, they last like crazy. They just keep going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny and then they work fantastic. So even if you buy a model, like say you were going out to buy like a Colorado trail boss and you can't get LEDs, <laughs> Who cares? Put the LED bulbs in them. They're dirt cheap. Literally, they make them for every single vehicle. It's plug and play. It takes eight minutes to put them in there. And uh, and now you have LEDs that are going to work fantastic. So um, LED headlights is the, the next one. Uh, after that, the other one we want to do is an extended warranty. Okay, no vehicle today. I'm so tired of people. Jeep reliability and uh, Ford reliability and Ram sucks and Chevy sucks. And if you don't buy a Toyota, you're getting pure garbage. Well, today with the new stuff, Toyota sucks too. The days of good quality, reliable Toyotas are gone. Everything is the same now. This is no more reliable than anything else. I've done videos on that. But I'm telling you, I promise you, if you want to buy a vehicle today, a new one, and you are going to keep it for 100,000 miles, put a 100,000 mile warranty on it and do not buy your warranty from the dealer you are buying the car from without going to the manufacturer first and calling around and getting prices but I go uh you know you can go right through uh, uh through Chrysler right through Mopar you can go right through GM you can go right through Ford you can go right through any of these companies and call them directly and get a non-commissioned uh, warranty price and you can even finance it through them or do a zero interest 12 month payment plan there's a lot of options that you can do where you do not have to pay that kind of money that the dealer markup is because not only does the dealer mark up the price of the warranty usually they don't tell you but they will also add one or two percentage points on to the financing of the warranty part so your vehicle might be at uh say say you're getting your vehicle at six percent five percent something like that your extended warranty might be in there too but they might kick another percentage point onto that um so that they get that dealerships are scam artists on every kind of level um and they're getting worse and worse there's good ones but a lot of them are really bad they play a lot of games so um know ahead of time you know, like when I bought this, 
I had called around ahead of time already and I knew exactly how much the warranty was. $1,270 for a five year, 100,000 mile bumper to bumper, true factory Mopar warranty. And uh, I knew that going in. The dealer I bought the truck from wanted $29.99 and it was a steal and I could finance it right in with my price of the car. What? What? No. I got out, came home and I called the guy up, you know, the uh, through Mopar and I paid 1270 bucks and I paid it cash and there it was done and no extra fees, no nothing, but you could have done a 12 month plan if you wanted to. Now what's nice too is all of these factory warranties, they are prorated refundable. That means it's so, I have this warranty on this. If I decide to sell this, it's already got 18,000 miles on it and it's not even six months old yet. If I decide to sell this, uh, say in a year with 50,000 miles on it, I can get money back. I get like 800 bucks back on that warranty or 600 bucks back of the prorated amount of that warranty because I did not use the full warranty. So it's a no brainer to put them on there. And with the way things are today in a 36,000 mile warranty, 50,000 driveline, but the driveline's not even that big of an issue. You never really have problems there. Most of it is electronics and uh, sensors and crap like that. And with dealers charging a couple hundred bucks an hour now and that sort of thing, put the extended warranty on it if you don't use it uh, like I said and you go to sell it ahead of time you'll get your money back if you wreck this vehicle you will get your money back on your warranty as well too a lot of people don't realize that so it is in my opinion a absolute no-brainer to go ahead and put that extended warranty on it so we know so we are already talking best deal you can get LED headlights and we are talking about an extended warranty number four is floor mats Okay, we're number four is good quality rubber floor mats. Now Jeep comes with one, but you can see why I want them. Okay, I'm out here all the time. You can see, you know, I mean, there's no reason to have this stuff getting all over your carpet. And, you know, this way you don't have to clean, but good high sided tubbed uh, type uh, floor mats are what you want to have in here so that everything down here is protected. Everything is protected all the way across. Everything in here is in a dish of some kind so that it is protected for you and keeps like you can see, look at that from this leaking. Okay, this has been leaking a little bit. Look at everything in here stays right inside that dish tub and is protected in there. That is what you want to have. So uh, if your vehicle does not come with them, then get them. Does not have to be weather tech. It does not have to have to be factory and it does not have to be husky or anything like that. Now those are fantastic. Don't get me wrong. And if you're going to keep your vehicle for a long time, they make a lot of sense. But even the generic ones that you get on Amazon for like $30 for the whole set, they, they even, you know, where you got to trim them, they work fantastic, but get something. Not only will it protect your carpet in your vehicle, it will make your vehicle cleaning so much easier to just pull that pull that mud flap right out and dump that stuff as opposed to getting it all over your carpet. It's so much easier to just take this, pop this out right here. So we're going to pop that, pop that. Now Jeep has a drain plug in here, which is kind of sucks because it all runs right through the bottom. But we take that and pull that out. Hang on, I'm going to set you down for a second here. Sorry, hold on. And we take this right out of the vehicle. And we bring it here, and I can take this right here and dump it, and now it's clean. Give it a quick kick, sweet and easy, and you can see other than my where that drain hole is that is in the bottom of this. Okay, that's a drain, and there's a drain right down here, but that is my only speck of dirt, really, that I have in here. Look at how clean that carpet is after everything I went through, you know, what we had on that floor mat. So very well worth it to get them and protect it but also when you clean your vehicle the next time you don't have to fight with uh vacuuming so much i mean i barely ever vacuum this thing out usually i do this and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my hand and i'm going to scrape this stuff down into that mat and usually that is all i need to do okay and then it's oh look back to clean perfect so Floor mats, floor mats are a fantastic option. So there's four things for you. Well, am I holding the phone way all over? Sorry about that. Let me re, I'm going to fix that. But floor mats are a fantastic option. They are going to be very beneficial for you. And, uh, but four items that I would never not have on a new vehicle. Doesn't matter if it's mine, my wife's, doesn't matter what it is, any new vehicle for these four things. Best deal, LED headlights, extended warranty, and good quality floor mats in there are a straight up given on every kind of level. If you have a truck, a bonus one, 
If you have a truck, bed lined or not bed lined, I don't care, put a rubber mat in it. Okay, this rubber mat will keep everything from sliding around and moving on you. It all stays put right there, makes life so much easier. Promise you, you will be very happy that you did. I don't even bed line my trucks anymore. I don't need to. Everything stays exactly where I put it because of this super simple rubber mat. Put a rubber mat in the back. I love my tailgate protector on here. You can see I use the crap out of it. Um, it's like a big cutting board on here. Got that on Amazon from Hooker or uh, Hooker Hooker Road or Hook Road. Hook Road, I think, was who made it. There's a bunch of them. They're all generic and the same thing, just private labeled. But it was like 90 bucks or something on Amazon. But uh, well worth its weight in gold, as is the mat. Same thing. The mat's just a Amazon one. So there you go. A couple tips for you. Thanks for watching.